like I said personally, I really think the nigga Easy was a revenge fuck. To be honest. What's that uh what's that Remy stuff about since we talking about hip hop? Oh shit. Stop. I was about to say that. <laughs> Does that go in the classification of hip hop? Like, like, yeah, bro. Like, this. <laughs> I understand, like, what, what Hitty did and shit or whatever. But just being a real spree guy and, and having dealt with, you know, being on the other side of the law, I would, I could never respect like that audio shit. Like, my only felony is a distribution of, you know, cocaine and shit. And a guy shot me up on the phone. So, anything to deal with getting recordings and shit like that i would never be able to agree with those type of you know type of things but like i don't like the fact that you brought the audio from someone like like the buying the audio well, he bought type it, yeah, shit. yeah he like bought buying it, yeah. the audio type shit and then you being a street guy hit it like i don't i can't i can't i can't fuck with that like bro i, I mean I can't fuck with uh, that. I, can't fuck I get what you. That, I get what you're saying. Not, I get what you're saying. I could have, like you just said, I could have got the audio, but I don't want to move like a bitch, like a whole dude, like that. But I'm gonna tell you like, something. I nah, but like, man. if he doing that, that means easy to block Captain Man really did or said something to like where he just. That said, ain't hurt him, man. he did. That's why I still don't. Like, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Lucci, because let's let's also add a little bit of a little bit of context to this and why I don't like actually crucify Henny Man for doing what he did. Regardless of like, okay, he bought it. It's like, okay, so you had to go to some means to actually get the audio. Okay, cool. That nigga uh easy was actually like promoting the fact that this nigga not even the facts, I can't say it's a fact, because Henny Man actually disputed it and disputed it correctly. But he put it out as like actually doing like pedophile type activity. So it's like that shit will ruin your life. Just the accusation alone will ruin your fucking life. We know how niggas do with that type of shit. You can't get that type of shit on your jacket and think you're just going to walk away from it. Even if you convicted that you didn't do it, people will still throw you in the fucking doghouse for that shit. So it's like, I, I, I mean, I, that, after that type I mean, he, no, he kind of put him out there for it. Like, if you look at, like, the tweets and stuff like that, he was, like, trying to say, like, oh, is this the nigga that, like, that was doing this, this, and that with the kids and shit? Like, ain't that the same nigga that was doing this with the kids and shit? Like, no, he was really trying to throw it on his jacket and shit. So, it's like, no, nah, like, That's after wild. that, I'm like, bro, it's it's kind of free game at that point. Like, I, like, nigga, I wouldn't, I didn't blink it out. None of the shit that Henny was doing after that, because it's like, well, Nigga, no, not this nigga. Not if I know I got some shit on you. Like, no, I, I'm about to double down on your ass. Then, like, fuck all that. Like, nigga, I can prove that that shit's false. But what, what can you do to prove about this shit? Like, does that seem like a clout chasing move, though? I mean, yeah, he was probably trying to. I mean, you know, with like the whole like. Uh, he made. I, mean, I don't know what he did. Because like, like, you know. I, I took Henny as a real guy. Like, if you're a street guy, Henny like, bro, pissy. I don't think no like no street niggas like they're gonna kind of really agree with. Uh, I mean, any first of all, nigga record. I mean, but the nigga also works in media and shit like that too. So he, I mean, he's kind of you. I mean, like again, he's kind of. No, it don't. And again, I don't. Media and all that shit. Cause that's that's. Nah, but I'm not giving them. I'm not giving them no pass for using audio because I I too think the audio shit is weird. I think the nigga that recorded it and anybody that try to like you know, I mean you can do what you do with you. I'm about to say it's like yeah you can. I mean I don't really care how nigga got it, but like me personally. He's but talking on the phone. But, but it's like that's what I'm saying. It's like nigga. I can't, I can't be too upset at like, okay, well, there's audio existing. Again, I'm more upset about the niggas that's out here recording niggas, but at the same time, it's like, well, now that it exists, again, if niggas was running around here talking about, oh, well, Tay Rock got audio on him about this, this, and that, so niggas right? was thirsty for that shit. Niggas was looking for that shit on the daily. So it's like, now niggas is scared of audio and niggas don't like proof, but like, nah, bro, like... <laughs> Nigga had proof on some shit that claimed, like that went against some shit that he was claiming to be, and he got put out for it. So it's like, I don't think that. And again, it's like, 
Like, a nigga said himself, like, yo, don't address me when battle rap address me if you think, like, some shit's really to be addressed. And, nigga, that's like, some shit to be addressed. Because as a real man, you can say, it, like, well, nigga, we can't take you for your word because of this, this, and that. Or else on how it got done, nigga, we got the proof to say that, nigga, you not thorough. Yeah. This shit so, that is a liar, though, man. Like, I think that that's a bad way to go. Out of rap, they all lie. Yeah. And I do think, I do think Henny took a fall for that shit. Like, even if you look down at Henny for that, like, I think that's kind of like a loss that like, he knew that even, like, most niggas isn't going to look at him the same way as doing some shit like that. But, like, again, at the end of the day, if a nigga tried to throw that shit on my jacket, I wouldn't give a fuck. And I would say, well, no, it's up for you. Like, I don't care. Like, the pedophile shit was, was, was a while ago. That wasn't something that was recently, though, right? When, when he's into that. Or was that something that just happened? It was within this year, like, yeah. a couple months ago, when he actually, like, like a literally, like, maybe, like, five months ago. So all Easy did, like, like I'm going to say, that we was talking about recently. All Easy did recently was called Henny a Weirdo. And that make you made him want to No, Henny, yeah, him. no, Henny, Henny was definitely just looking for a reason for yeah, sure. See, like, that, that's what, that's, that's what no, he was that, like, bro, when it came to the last straw. No, it yeah. was like, no, he, he just needed a reason. He just nah, needed a reason. Bro, like, come on, man. You, I mean, you brought this audio anyway in with intentions to, you know, but again, like that nigga was saying, though, he was kind of already oh, sparing him, dog. Like, he was already kind of letting him go with some shit. Like, he was already like, like he didn't get him the first time when he got him for real. Like when he first got at him, like he didn't really. What was the first situation? So I know he actually did um, do something, but um, or he put out the the little clip of the audio, but he didn't really like put him to bed for real. Like he didn't like again, and that's what I'm saying. It's like that pedophile shit is strong accusation, dog. Like I I wouldn't play for that shit like that. Dog. So it's like. Again, like my nigga, it's up for you at that point. You gonna try to laugh and joke at me over some shit that can really put my life to bed, especially with all these kids I got and shit like that. Like, bro, I'm not playing that shit. Like, that's some serious ass shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, bro, we gotta be careful these days, bro. Okay, bro. Not nigga, really cool that at any. <laughs> yeah, no, the recording itself, like whoever the nigga was or the bitch was that actually was like sitting there recording them, like, yeah, that shit. That shit is foul, and it is actually sad and unfortunate. Because again, that's a private conversation. Whatever that nigga easy wanted to say on that shit, like nigga had the right to say it and be like open with this shit. But like, yeah, it, it's nasty once it's actually repeated for the public. But like, damn, it's like I can't even confide in niggas. Like, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's a little unfortunate for sure. But like, it also was to prove a point and that's what i like that's why i feel like kind of justifies it is the fact that like well nigga no because you're also being fraudulent out here at the same time and this shit proves it so it's unfortunate but at the same time it's like well to prove a point at the end of the day and again that doesn't like necessarily entirely justify like it justifies the nigga being recorded and shit but I feel like in Henny's sake, and pretty much exclusively for that nigga, like he was kind of in his own way justified for putting that shit out. Just wait for you, man. Nigga, you just look at me wrong, man. I'm gonna go. Man, that nigga in Henny's man. No, he 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 really pulled the trigger on like a halfway yeah, mention. Like if you look at the tweet that like Easy like said like like somebody made a joke at Henny that actually quoted him from like the Black Compass shit, and all Easy did was like. Sounds like a weirdo or some shit, and like on the bottom and something like that, and retweeted it. And like that was it. He didn't say his name. He didn't say nothing. He just said like, "Yeah, that weirdo there." And then Henny quoted that shit and was like, "Oh me," and he was like, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> That's all he needed. That's all he needed. Mm. <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, you're right though. He was on Crazy. black company. He's about to let niggas know, like, yo. Oh yeah, he that nigga. Yeah. He that toning them know, like, yo, listen, um. I got an audio. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> you let him know right now. I'm soon as I find a reason. Yeah, he's soon as he find like you think even look at me wrong, man. I'm gonna say anything else. He breathes wrong. <laughs> if y'all say any man, he bro. just breathe wrong. Yeah. That nigga yeah. hit jealous, man. I'm sorry, bro. I got call yeah, ass. That nigga hit me jealous. Oh, uh, he's jealous. It's, it's, that nigga is jealous, man. Bro, screw you. Because, bro, like, y'all, 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 y'all,
Y'all yeah, already had got into it, bro. And like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like you man. keep going and keep going, like when it just sound like niggas saying something to you or whatever. Then niggas was like, Yeah, he did you a favor getting on that song with you. And you like, man, they might did me no favor getting on the song. It was hot for easy got on it. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't hot for easy got on it, bro. Like, you mad for no reason, Henny. I don't, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Battle rap, man. I don't know what Battle happened. rap, man. I don't know what the fuck wrong with that me and Henny, but hey, man, he got him, bro. Like, he already won the first one. He's trying to overwin, but they ain't going to win you no battle for uh, Henny. They ain't going to win you no battle, bro. Niggas don't want to battle you still, bro. No matter how much chatty catty shit you doing, bro, you just not going to be as big as he's in battle for it, bro. I'm sorry, right, bro. Yeah, but like, tip off, bro. Easy, so that's though. Why I like, he, yeah, he, I mean, he, he, I'm going to say this, though, about Easy, though. though. His yeah. credibility is shot, though, when, he, when it comes to his rap. Like, even T Rex said that, like, bro. Your credibility shot. Like, if you lying about getting punched and the nigga snuck you, which is regular yeah. shit, what else you gonna, like, how can I take certain shit you say serious? You know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like the culture got to treat him the same way as they treated, uh, what's the old boy that was on the rise and they found out he had snitching allegations? What's his name is? Uh, Tay Rock. Kid Slade, Slade, yeah. You gotta treat him the same way because the credibility is shot. Your believability is shot. Like, you, if you say, nigga, I punch you, no, the fuck, I, no, nigga, we ducking points. If you saying, I mean, I was the block captain, that still is kind of like, were you a block captain? Like, because if you didn't knock you out, like John John said, you still didn't do nothing? You lying about something, That's and then you got all this other shit. You just, it's just too much. Like, yo, a lot of your credibility, yo, your raps go down. It's gonna sound fire, but it ain't gonna mean shit. And right. you lied about where you and from. And that was like the real big that? issue to me. It's like, it's not even, it's bigger than the punch or like even him fucking with Remy and shit like that. It's like, this no, nigga dude, lying like this, more than that. I mean, like, nigga, you in battle rap. So it's like, this shit is like a direct attack at like your character for real. And it's like, a legit. Lot of lies. So it's like, yeah. that's a way heavier thing than just like oh like you just got caught up in some shit or like nah it's just a punch or some shit like no nigga like niggas is really like getting at you for real now and this shit gonna stick because like well niggas this this shit battle rap so like niggas don't talk about it niggas going and then like far as the money though with the with the battle a lot of other polls got john john winning right he still right. want to pay the money up, so it was just I don't know, man. Easy, and that's, he, right? He looked, and it's like, and it also out. further hurt. Yeah, didn't find no like, judges, nigga. No, see, they didn't want to find this. They said when they find judges, they ain't want the judges to be biased because uh, they explained this shit. They ain't want no judges to be like, uh, we're like. One work but for a certain. Like everybody it, 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 it would, yeah, it would, it would. I don't, right. I don't, if you yeah, have that's true. Thing, apparently, you're biased and you're just judging off of the link that John John put out, mm-hmm. which is like dumb as fuck. Because again, it's the character thing. Like, if niggas really don't, if niggas can't trust you anymore, it's like then so you're never gonna lose no more battles after this because if niggas have this opinion on you now. Like that's niggas are gonna go into battle. I feel like shit. Easy didn't really want like, uh, no judges. Really wanted to find no judges because the shit that John John was saying, like he know he probably knew John John was gonna say certain shit and get, get hit, <laughs> and then they probably would have been like, and if they would have chose niggas that actually know what John John's talking about, he probably would have lost that battle clear. So, like, he probably didn't. Clear. Yeah, he didn't want to. That's, that's easy, uh, easy yeah, delusional yeah. for real. nigga to try to punch past it shit. I mean like it's not impossible again it's like even if you go to like the the Rock and Geechee battle you thought you would thought that like especially after that first round you would have thought damn this shit damn near over for Rock like but like nigga if you go in there with bars and shit of course you can still win your battles and shit like that but it's like bro this shit this shit yeah, heavy though man <laughs> he did that's what I'm saying it was like, like if Easy was really that gangster like nigga even if the angle was that prevalent, then niggas wouldn't have had Tay Rock winning that battle if that was the case. Because he was talking about like the polls because now they just have this kind of image on, this, like, on the downturn with Rock when he was going into that battle. But nigga, the material itself spoke for itself. So it was like niggas was judging the battle and not necessarily judging the outside shit that came in with it. Like, so. You can do all that complaining, like acting like it was like the audio that made niggas want to just vote for John John, but it's like, bro, it like, nigga, you lost the battle. And I actually had that battle being still kind of debatable too on the first watch. Mm-hmm. I just watched it, but 
Let's show them started. There's no nigga buying no audio, man. Nigga, tell on you in a second, man. Yeah. Nah, look. Don't you know? The, the nigga buy it and didn't want to sell it. You know you try to do something. <laughs> you know you try to do something. You know you try to do Respect that old man. <laughs> my, you know, you know what's crazier. You know what's crazier is it. What a, what if, what if I don't know if he, if uh, Henny man was like, yo, I buy the. Did he say I'm gonna buy the audio from you, or did the other dude try to sell it to him? You know how like like some like well, I can pay, I can pay you, for, I can buy off you. No, he told Henny I'm like, buy like, that you know, shit. Did he bro. ask? No, I, I don't. So Henny, he was, Henny like, was like. No, Henny put out the, yeah, the, the, the snapshot. I'm gonna say if you go That's back what Henny said battle, though. That's what Henny said out his own mouth. Geechee heard the audio. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the battle rap community heard the audio, but it was some niggas like Geechee said, I ain't gonna do no bitch shit like that and act like a hoe, like you know what I'm saying, and put it out. Like he Geechee said that in this round, like you know what I'm saying? So Geechee didn't put it out or you know because i i think that would make Geechee look like you know something you know but i feel like that. that's why a lot of niggas wasn't putting the shit out either because i feel like a lot of people in the culture already <laughs> knew what was up yeah. dog like i feel yeah. like a lot of people because you can tell the reaction after the shit after the shit first happened dog like you could see a lot of the energy from the culture i was telling other niggas this, that like bro if you looked around like the tweets and shit like that you could see like niggas kind of waiting on easy just to tell the truth instead of like extending the lie because once niggas start extending the lie you see a couple i saw a couple of tweets i don't remember who it was from but i see a couple of tweets of like bro are you really going like like bro just go ahead and just tell the truth like go ahead and just say this shit bro like like as if they really knew so it's like i feel like niggas been known people probably already been had the audio too but it's just like or at least heard it you know like probably one nigga bought it and you know everybody else kind of got their little piece you know but i feel like niggas already knew what was up but Certain niggas know better than to put that shit out, especially if you know that you got it in a fraudulent way or like you probably paid for it or, you know, got it from another means and shit. So niggas probably knew that that shit was going to bounce back onto them if they put it out in the first place. Because then you, the chatty fatty nigga that want to put out audio. So. Yeah, yeah, see. No one to get, nobody wanted to get their feet dirty with that shit. You use media to try to make you like I'm media, man. That's what this is what I do to try to make it not like yeah. man. But when you a right. guy, man, like you can't do come like come on, bro. You can't do no shit like that. Right. Bro. Like, man, this uh, fuck if you do do it, this is who I got the fucking audio from, man, and that third or whatever. Like you're not gonna you can't just put it out like I'm media, it's my job. Yeah. I mean, I'm supposed to do this. All. Like, nah, come on, man. I thought you was a gangster ass street yeah. nigga a minute ago and you would do something to a nigga and shit like the like Hey B I mean I mean I know it's fuck when the gloves is off, the gloves is off. Like for all that though, it's like man, you know what? When I see you, you know, I I I'll you know it is what it is when I see you on some shit or whatever. You're a street guy. Man, I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta do all that. I'll let one of these other motherfuckers who ain't affiliated with the streets do some shit like that. I, I just didn't like that. I took hit it for a real street dude, bro. But like he he played a he, he played a media a media card. Like you know, this is what we do. I got a report on shit. Like nah, man, you was boy, you brought that fucking audio with bad intentions, man. Like man, this nigga even. Uh, Wait to put it out. Hey, Fuck man, 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 them gloves. Are, <laughs> them gloves are throwing you off. Man. And this nigga even breathe. Don't fuck with man. that boy, right man. Right I wouldn't care. Easy, I don't hate you. I win. I win. That nigga Henny hurt, bro. Henny is hurt, bro. I don't know, man. Henny hurt. So what? Easy really? He easy did something to Henny, man. He did something. He's trying to play him like he's trying to play him like you know what I'm saying. Like nigga, I'm the reason that song. Yeah, that pedophile shit was months ago, like bro. Like that, like niggas. I I forgot all about he put the shit. Bro, yeah, but hold on, bro. I'm gonna tell you something. That pedophile shit, like 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 black said, like that 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 pedophile shit. You can't say that. Like you on media and somebody say you a pedophile or anything, and you and niggas see you on YouTube. Bro, that and you know you not like yo. That's that's but niggas be lying. Like, it's crazy. You can't like, play with a nigga name. The one that said it though. But when is the last time we heard something about Henny being a pedophile, bro? That shit was 
Yeah, that's because he actually cleared it. Yeah, because he cleared it up. It don't matter. It, it don't, don't matter, matter because he actually had to clear that shit up. Though. Because like it, uh, yeah, he had to, he, he had to clear yeah. it up, and then if a nigga still doing all this bullshit and he irking mm-hmm. you the same way, like you you might you might right. do some BS I'll like that. I don't feel like he should have did that. I feel like he should have just got like. She should have got up with Easy for real. Like I would have got like if I'm in a battle rap nigga and you play we puppy pedophile, I'm getting up with you, nigga. I might steal on you. Cause I know I know where you're gonna be at, nigga. I'm not I'm gonna keep it a dollar, cause like you, I'm gonna get up with you. I know how to get you. Cause that shit was slime ball anyway, the person who recorded it. So not me putting out that the slime ball shit makes me look like the cornball too, man. On some on low key, like I ain't got time. Yeah. Just a wild situation, bro. Like, I don't. So, I, uh, yeah. I mean, since you laughing, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them niggas roll. Since, man, you, but, since you want to giggle at it easy, yeah, since you want to yeah, laugh at it easy, yeah, how about this? <laughs> yeah, some weirdo shit or whatever, bro. That was a handy fan with okay. Right now, laugh, bitch. <laughs> on Christmas. <laughs> That's the female shit Christmas for real. Always funny. The background and everything. Like, come on, man. Always funny. Come That's the on, female man. shit for real. Always funny. <laughs> weirdo, man. Like, come on, man. You just say it worse than shit, man. They can call you a weirdo, man. That's it. That's all it took, man. Like, God damn, bro. They're like, oh, nah, this nigga called me a pedophile. Y'all remember this? Like, nah, man. That shit don't justify it. To me, that's just to me. That don't justify it or whatever. Because that shit was months ago. Like, and I don't even think. Yeah, but then at the same time, like, Let's say if he got called that, it, but the shit, he, you don't know, he could have got called that and somebody could have gave him a heart. You don't know what that guy, that, that could have maybe affected him in some other way that we just don't know. You know, nothing, maybe not too much, but like, maybe like, I don't know, maybe it affected him, maybe it cost him, I don't know, maybe, I don't know why any man had it like that, but he got a reason. He got a reason. Go viral, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I think the brother tried to go viral. He dropped the shit on his new page, like, like it's not. Y'all might have to, you know what? Y'all should like, interview him. Y'all should, y'all should. Y'all should, y'all should, y'all should y'all I stole the recording already. Right. This stuff, shit. Yeah, uh, 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 be like, yo, why you do that, man? It's on my channel too to promote. And that wasn't like when he was on Anger Fan, bro. That that wasn't just E Hive niggas that was talking to him, like, man, you wild for that, putting it out and this and that, like going at Henny because he put it out. That was just a lot of random people saying, like, nah, I ain't fucking with this, man. Like, why would you put it out? Mm-hmm. Being that you a street guy, like, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Why would you put it out? And I think, right. bro, like I said, like Geechee talked about the same shit that was going on in the audio, and he didn't say, like, he didn't put it out or nothing like that. Not to win a battle. Like, come on, man. That was just some, yeah. That was some crazy. I mean, but he didn't have to either. Again, and I, I you know, Henny Man didn't have to, you know? Yeah. But, like, again, I can't, I can't, like, you know, tell a man how he should feel after the nigga, like, drops some on his name really do something to the nigga like do something to it wasn't dog it was it was it was diminished because the nigga actually had to go out and explain himself once he explained himself then yeah there's no reason to run with this shit no more because nigga i just told you this is false and i have the proof to back it up so it wasn't just like, oh, niggas just stop talking about it. No, nigga, I actually have to like shut that shit down. The same shit that Easy should have did with this shit months ago. So what? Uh, talking. What did Henny do for Easy to put out the pedophile shit? He did that. He well to put out the ped. I mean, shit. I don't know. Because <laughs> it was cool, like you. Know, but you know. Then that's the overarching of this shit is that this nigga easy just like you know if shit don't go his way and you know Henny man's in media nigga he probably just nah he called Henny weird because Henny had reported on something that he had did some shit no but that's what I'm saying it's like bro it it, it could have been no but that's what we're saying like it could have been something as simple as him either not reporting not saying some shit not saying like oh. Easy got a battle this week. Oh, Easy probably lost this one. Damn, I had the other nigga winning this shit. And then Easy just being upset. Like, bro, it's that easy that why he could have just been like, oh, well, I'm not fucking with this nigga no more. Fuck this nigga. Like, but that's yeah. the overarching narrative where it's like, why this shit, this whole situation is way bigger than a punch. Him fucking with Remy. Mm-hmm. 
and it's really just addressing this nigga character. The audio is really just like show this nigga a reflection of how this nigga is really moving out here. And it's like it's still showing the overarching shit, even from gun titles and, and fucking with URL and all that shit. Like this shit is all adding up right now, and it's not looking good. Like yeah, it didn't make easy look like a liar. That brother is a liar, though, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't. Hey, 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 so you think Easy was kind of really protecting Remy, or was he? Pro- because a lot of this shit could have been doing with Remy not want you know the shit to be out because you know <laughs> that's what he said. Situation. So I think like yeah, but that's why I figured that's why Remy didn't say shit the first time. She just said nothing happened and left it that. Like I wouldn't expect her to say anything, especially if she actually knew that some shit was like you know some dirt had already went down and shit. You know. I think what the crazy part to me about the audio was the brother said Remy told him she loved him like and I was saying to myself like come on bro like that was supposed to be maybe three four times man she tell you she love you like nah come on man like this this ain't like yeah. come on man. yeah that she love she don't love you she love she loves she loves she loves something i don't think she loves no. nah, no, no, no. no. you gonna send away love nigga oh he held it down for six what five years six years eight and got, got kids like come on man you can't bro you know how hard it is to become between some shit like that fam <laughs> It's hard to break up some shit like that. I don't give no man. I mean, but like, you know, like, yeah. we don't know what that was, you know what I'm saying, what's going on internally. You know what I'm saying? Man, that, that, that brother you know? would eat no ass like that, man. Like, come on, man. They kind of oh, wow. No <laughs> wow. You don't, they you don't know that, man. Bro. See, that's, that's Remy Ma. He could have really been in them cheeks like that. But still, bro, him eating her ass, bro, still not going to make her really, truly believe yeah. she love him over what pap did I, I i get remy that much man like you know what i'm saying because I mean, yeah to me if she did tell him that and his brother believed that shit bro, like that's but you that, know what these how these girls be these girls would be like really, yeah like oh really tender, you can meet like, he gotta be you tender. can meet somebody in three days and and they can look you know what i'm saying you never know i don't know man i don't think she but remy though like nah come on fam come on man like you I, I, I just can't see Remy saying that over a couple of like nah fam. Like, we kicking it this and that a third, but it's not it's there's no doubt in my mind that she was gonna never leave Pap. Like I think Pap would have had to leave her. And like I said personally, I really think the nigga easy was a revenge fuck. To be honest with you. Yeah. I think she I think he really was a revenge fuck. Some shit that Pap may, may have or uh, may have not done. You know, and she made it up in her head. You know what? Okay. It's like, you know, all right, I got you. you know what I'm saying? Because you know why? It's kind of, it's, it's really hard for me to believe that in those five or six years that Remy was gone, that Pap just kept it solid like that. He's a man, bro, at the end of the day. Anytime you bump the phone or you. Say, you know, you call or this and that. I'm here, like, you know, this and that, a third. But at the end of the day, to say that this nigga had, like, this nigga didn't have anything going on in those five or six years, it's kind of crazy, fam. That, that's that's kind of crazy. Because I know this man, he's a man, bro. And he's like, you know, I guess he's a superstar, but like, this nigga famous, like, nigga, motherfuckers, no papoos, man. Especially in New York, yeah. so pussy ain't that hard for him to get, like, when he goes somewhere. Like, he's VIP when he walk in the door, like, ain't no lying weight, no shit like that, but it's kind of hard yeah. for me to believe that, though. I just, so I really think it was some kind of revenge shit. That's just my perspective. I thought it was, he was a revenge fuck. And she gas easy up to make him think, like, you know, I should do the side nigga. Gas him up, you know I mean? Yeah, man, this nigga, he kind of believed. Like, yeah, she told me she loved me. Like, what the fuck? I, nigga didn't even sound confident when he said that, Black Star. When he said that, yeah, yeah, she told me she loved me. <laughs> like, that didn't even he didn't sound too sure. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> sound too short, bro. Like on the real oh. though, like man, that was just yeah, crazy, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, the situation is it, it, kind of it's kind of sticky, man. But that's a what a horrible way to go out in 2023. Whole situation. Yeah. No, for yeah. 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 I don't think you're going. I don't think he's gonna address this shit until next year, dog. Like, I think he's just gonna keep quiet for this year, and then hopefully don't stain on like the champion of the year talks, and that nigga go address the shit by next year. He's not like, getting champion of the year, man. No, he next- shouldn't. But because even if you want to talk about like the actual contenders and shit like that, nobody got fucked up bad as he did with versus uh, Gotti, dog. Nobody, nobody has on their record like that. So off that alone, he might still be like in heavy contention, but like there's no way he'd be winning off of having that on his jacket for real. Yeah, he ain't winning on that's crazy because you know. I don't just dump the weird shit and be like, oh well, he kept his name lit all year. It's like, but it was all negative shit. Like, yeah. fuck are we doing? The, the, the audio dropping does that make Geechee third round that much powerful though? Now that you uh, actually heard the audio. Yeah, it makes Geechee's round stronger and it makes John John's round. Listen to what he was saying, bro. This nigga who was actually talking about everything this nigga was saying on the audio. Yeah, that's everything why I find it confusing <laughs> that niggas even try to debate or try to make say, see, I said that about close. I'm like, bro, there's no fucking way dude. he was talking to this nigga's soul and he was addressing everything. Dog. Like, this nigga was going into so many different pockets and different shit. That the thing was fucking up on, even a Justin Ray at the same time. It's like, bro, there's no goddamn way. Like, I don't give a fuck about it. That's it. Right. Cause I fuck with the third round, but not 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 as much as I fuck with it right now. Because <laughs> I, 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 I honestly that, think that if he would have like, put his third round against Geechee's second round, that battle would be more debatable if he it, put his it, third round. It was second. because. Yeah, because he had straight bars in the third, yeah. and he was actually yeah. he's doing what he should have been at like the start of the battle. Because if you know this nigga God, he's coming in with all angles, nigga, you need to come in bar heavy. Like you need to, especially if you know you don't have any real solidified angles to combat this shit. Because he tried to go angle for angle with a bunch of bullshit that didn't have nothing to stand on. Like it's like, what are you talking about? But if he like, if he really wanted to win that shit, he should have went in there with. Bars like the same way Tay Rod. You go in there and you bar that nigga to death. Man, like you don't he, try to he outpick him. He should have just. Nope, he he should have just be rabbit himself. He should have be rabbit himself. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, I got knocked out. This, this, and if he would have be rabbit himself, he might have been okay. Because he denied have been a, a couple of things. Yeah. yeah. And if you <laughs> did that first round. Fuck, what you want me to do? Nigga got crazy, all over here, yeah. got tight, like, like, what, what, what the fuck was I supposed to do or whatever? Like, yeah, uh, like, right. That's, that would probably would have diffused a lot of that shit. Like, man, yeah, nigga hit me two times or whatever. Fuck, but they got ghosts or whatever. But I, you know, you still gotta see me on some shit. That you know round, now that went more viral than the Gotti shit, low key, because he just like went out and aired all the dirty laundry. Like, no, that was crazy. Yeah, man, that's. Especially before Gotti had a chance to do it, like yeah, that show would have been kind of wild. Do y'all look at Remy different now? Knowing that she she fucked easy. I don't. I, I don't. No. I, I, I really don't. I don't look at her different. I don't know her body. I don't know. She kind of fucked a lot of weird. I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know her body like that. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really know the situation fully about her and Pat Poo, so I, it's hard for she, It was like, they, it could have been something yeah. that freed up. All I know is she's a, I don't know. I, I do know she came, because I feel like some of the, and it could be a revenge or something. That is kind of fucked up. You know, you, you know, breaking up know. a little bit, body back. Yeah, you're yeah, you're breaking up a little bit, body back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It could be a revenge fuck, but I don't know. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Just got his teeth fixed and all this shit. Racism. Like, come on, man. Like this. Uh, like 
either one of them niggas did, bro. I tip my hat. Like I told you, like when we first talked about it, I hope he did it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I hope he did do it. I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, I don't. I don't look at it really any different, bro, because I just think it's something else be- that was behind that for to make that decision. I don't think she was just like, you know, because, you know, man, if that was cool, yeah, that- niggas in the industry would have been fucking with me and shit like that. Like, come on, man. You break it up. Yeah, you need to, you need to come back, body back. You need to pause. But you, you think to, she caught, you think she caught Papoose cheating? I, I really, me personally, I think it, like I told you, I think it was some kind of revenge for her, man. I think it was some shit that she caught Pap doing or uh, some shit like that. And like, you know what, hey, I mean, you know what, you be rocking like that, I'm gonna rock like this or whatever. Like, And I think that, me personally, because I don't just see her just saying, oh, easy, just turn me on like this much. I got to get this nigga some pussy or whatever. And, Come on, man. Ninety nine percent of battle probably <laughs> want to fucking Remy. Like, let, let's be honest, why, bro. Why not? That nigga looks just like your husband. I mean, I, I wouldn't be. Mm, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. He uh, found some, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, surprised he found some kind of attraction. But even more than that, okay. again, it's like I I can't help but repeat this shit because I, I like again more common nowadays you'll find couples that are open to fucking just opening up the relationship a little bit i compare it i find the if if we didn't know so much information about the shit because of jada but i compare it to the jada and will shit but like even then because they kind of opened up for niggas and like they just kind of opened up their relationship and they low-key split like earlier from what we found out but it's like the same situation could have been with this case too it's like to where they either open it up and they were just like hey you can fuck with who you want to fuck with to like a certain means or whatever like it seems like more and more relationships nowadays are kind of getting open and more comfortable with those type of things and setting boundaries at the same time too but like bro i wouldn't put it past them if they had some kind of arrangement and shit like that and probably went south a little bit to make uh papoose act a certain way but at the same time too it's like hey man like <laughs> you say you i don't know you but say- it, it's it's mainly I, I don't think it's the same but i just think there's certain aspects of this shit that you can compare and kind of contrast with that scenario with that whole celebrity kind of having that situation going on at the same time too but um again it's mainly the fact that papoose kind of acted out that way that makes it where it's like oh no there must have been some kind of foul play involved so it's not necessarily just like oh we had this arrangement no it's like well you did put hands on cuff and it's not necessarily the same as, you know, the Chris Rock shit, but yeah, he did do that stuff. So it must be something else. You think that was a situation of a nigga Pap feeling like a nigga smiling in his face and the whole time, you know, trying to fuck his wife and, and actually eventually fucked his wife? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I mean, shit, we don't even know. About that. Right. Yeah. We don't even know really how they ever got, like, if they even spoke two words to each other or not, like. Because, like, you kind of, I mean, I know you managing the negative, but it's like, uh, I can think of maybe a time or two that nigga easy could have pulled yeah, up to her crib, but, like, managing. I can't think of shit to where it's like, this nigga always over yeah, there. How to get like, that? Dude. Yeah. yeah like, you might, you go. But it's not, I'm not popping up to, like, my fucking, my store manager's crib every week and shit like that. Like, even if I had, like, I know it's a different scenario for them, but, like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know how close you're really getting and how often you've really seen her husband like that. Yeah, because it, I, I mean, we haven't seen them together on camera before, though, right? Pap and, and uh-huh. Easy. Never. Nah, because you would have thought it was like a sign or some shit. Yeah. I think she just, I think she just, uh, she just wanted somebody more of a little bit more lit in, the, in, in what they do. Like, Pat Poos is respected, but he ain't lit. No, what I'm saying is Papoose. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. Pap, hey, Pap ahead, is Papoose. Papoose is Papoose. Okay, she got out of jail. She got prettier, and then she like probably was thinking like, damn, why am I doing this Papoose shit? You know, or whatever, revenge, fuck, whatever. But then she was also probably thinking about like looking like you know. Sometimes women, they you know they wake up, they might not feel the same about a relationship. So Papoose is respected in his shit, but he not lit and respected like he not one of them niggas that's respected and like you see cassidy he more respected than pap 
boost in. You like, oh, this nigga lit. But like, easy to block captain at that time when I guess when they was whatever they mingling was doing it, and she was trying to go into the battle rap world. Easy was lit. And he was one of the niggas everybody was fucking with. So it's like compared to Pap, he seemed like more of a more lit nigga. Even though Pap is more maybe more known. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So she was probably just trying to just look at it in that type of way. I don't know what Wimmerin was thinking, but uh, it's but like that, it's it's hard to be mad at her because you really don't know the full situation nah, what she did and what and what and what went home behind the nah, scenes. You don't need to be mad at Easy for real. It. No, nah, you you can be mad at her because that just shows kind of a little bit how she was incompetent in that situation, bro. Because again, yeah, that's true. This, this is a battle league, and you run it, and not only do you run it, but you also manage the very same nigga that you chose to manage. You also chose to sleep with. That's not, yeah. it's not a good look. So, it's like, she definitely has some balls and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, you mix you mix business with yeah, you ain't really yeah, to yeah. Like now you. You type out for that shit for real, like, and I, I don't got yeah. no ill will to Remy, but like, you, you definitely fucked up in that situation. Like, I don't know what the fuck you thought you was doing, but that that shit was not about to go over well at all. Like, not only that, but you also like it's still a battler at the end of the day, so it's like you got especially with the culture, and maybe it's, I mean I can't even say she's new to it. Goddamn, of course I can't say she's new, but it's like, bro, it's like this shit comes out. <laughs> like, I don't know. How confused these battle rappers are, but most of the shit, especially with their lives, like you gotta understand, like there's niggas that are indeed looking at for your downfall. I don't give a fuck if you small time or if you big time, you the top of the game right now, bro. Like these niggas is looking for your downfall and they're looking for chinks in your fucking armor so that way the next time they battle you, nigga, it's lit. Like so it's like, and not to mention the to- the fucking culture itself is toxic as fuck, and we've been known this for decades. So it's like this ain't no new shit. For like, like these niggas been looking for yeah. shit like this to happen, and like it was just, I don't know if Remy didn't understand the dynamics and how this shit really could have spilled out in the first place, or what. If she knew that, like dealing with this battle rap nigga, he could have put the shit out his damn self because that's kind of what he's being famous and known for doing now. But bro, it's like it just it just seemed like there was too many ways this shit could have fucked up and could have went wrong and it kinda of went wrong in all those ways. Like, <laughs> yeah. This shit is bold though. 